In today's video, we're going to be going through the plugin manager and all of the plugins that have come with the RPG Maker MZ DLC basic resources. And of course, some of them are in Japanese as well. All right, let's do it. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So to start off with, we have the add auto to actor command. All right, let's have a look through this. Uh, so essentially what it's saying is that in your battle screen you can add the auto battling function as like a command you can select. See normally under traits you can have a special flag which is like auto battle. So I guess now that we've got this plugin turned in we'll do a test battle and see how that goes. Alright here we go. Fight. And then we have an auto select. That's an auto battle function that you can click. By the way, smash like for this funky music. And then at the end of every turn it resets and you can do auto again. That's a nice way to button mash your way through grind. Wow, I am already one minute into this video and I've only gone through one plugin out of that many. Alright, this is probably going to have to be a multi-part series. Let's see if I can't speed this up at all. Adjust picture to graphical. A plugin that adjusts picture drag and drop. What does that even mean? Alright, let's just open it up in Notepad and see if we can't read the code ourselves. Alright guys, I have spent the last 10 minutes trawling through the code and trying to figure out what this plugin does and I am at a loss. So if anyone knows, let me know down in the comments what exactly this plugin does. Number three, Alt Menu Screen. This plugin changes the layout of the menu, it puts the commands on the top and the status on the bottom. So let's see what it looks like normally. Okay, so that's what it looks like normally. Now we'll turn the plugin on and that's what it looks like with the plugin. Pretty sweet. Number four, Alt Menu Screen 2. Nani? Alright, let's have a bit of a mess around and see what I can do with this menu. Alright, we've made a couple of changes to the menu. Pretty good, a bit better than the original menu. Plugin number, I forget, uh, the next plugin. Alt save screen. This plugin changes the layout of the save slash load screen. It puts the fire list on top and the details on the bottom. Alright, let's have a quick look at what the original looks like. Alright, that's the original. Now let's see what it looks like when I turn on the plugin. Oh, I see what they've done. Not gonna lie, that's mint. Okay, plugin number Tangerine, I guess. Animation MV plugin. And there's a GitHub link. That leads to a 404 not found. That's great. Alright, let's open it up. Let's read through the code. And the code's in Japanese. Alright, let's translate the code. Oh, I see. So what this allows you to do is make some animations in RPG Maker MV, export them as a .json file, and upload them into RPG Maker MZ. So you can use your frame-by-frame -frame animations instead of those particle animations using effects here. I guess that's pretty useful to have. That was a journey. Next up, plugin number Treaty of Versailles. Battle Voice MZ. Ah, oh, cool. So it looks like you can have your characters have individual voice files in the middle of battle. Looks like I get to do some voice acting. <laughs> yeah, take this. Here, have some heals. Abracadabra, you're a cadaver. Huh, that was simple. Alright, now let's read the actual plugin so I know how to put them in game. Okay, save them as sound effects and put some notes in the character files. I can do that. Alright, so now I just need to make these as proper notes in here. Okay, so I've got it working, but one of the main things I need to do is lower the music for literally everything. Why is the default music in every RPG Maker engine so loud? So essentially what happens is after you've recorded all of your voices, when you go into the game, you can turn voices on in your menu. So you can go over to options, battle voice on, and what that'll do is when we're fighting... Take this. There you go. Oh, 
cadaver, you're a cadaver. Uh, take this! Huh, that was simple. So there you go, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, plug in number... Number eight. Uh. Number eight. Uh. Number eight. Uh. Button picture. This plugin provides a command to call a common event when a picture is clicked. That's actually pretty awesome. So what I'll do is I'm gonna load up an image, make this a parallel process. We'll have this save icon appear in the top left. Then we're gonna run the plugin command from button picture, and it's gonna call common event one. So now let's make common event one. This is gonna open the save screen. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so here's the save button in the top left hand corner and I can click on it and it opens the save file. That's cool as she. Guys, I just realized I've been recording this video for two and a half hours so far. So if you appreciate what I do, scroll down to the comments and leave me a thanks, bro. I've still got to edit this. Okay, plug in number, number. You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. Change equip on battle, MZ. So what it looks like is if I turn this plugin on, I should be able to change my weapons in battle. Let's see. I'm just gonna add a little treasure chest here so he actually has a weapon to change. All right. Longsword was found. Now I should be able to change my weapons in the middle of battle. There we go. Sweet. And the next plugin is change select item window MZ. So let's quickly see what the original looks like. Just make a quick NPC, call her Millie. And she's just gonna open the select item menu. All right, Millie, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> How about I turn the plugin off before I try and test the original? All right, so that's the original, and we know that something's wrong with the plugin because it just errored me. So let's actually read the plugin so we know how to use it. All right, so it looks like I have to have some switches turned on to make it work. So I'll just like screw around in the back end and see if I can fix it. All right, that seemed to work. Good, now let's get an item. All right, I don't know why, but for some reason to change the item menu, you need to change a switch. Okay, okay, so I have just done this many plugins out of this many plugins. Yeah, guys, I am going to have to make this a multi part series because there is no way that that is all fitting in one YouTube video. Just one more thing though this video is sponsored by myself. I have an itch.io page where I upload some super special awesome RPG Maker resources like Ye Old Bedroom, Pirate Bedroom, Fully Animated Modern and Sci Fi Doors, this sweet quest board, and this modern stove and stuff. Now I am constantly making more and more RPG Maker assets, so this list is set to grow. And if you really want to support the work I do here on YouTube, consider signing up to my Patreon. You get behind the scenes updates, a personalized thank you message from myself, a level 2 subscription can get you free downloads of all of those itch.io products I have online, and level 3 gets you early access to the videos that I make as well as the ability to vote on the video for the next week.